so enough storytelling, and uh, now I'd like to, to uh, segue into University of Connecticut. So I've come into UConn with an ambitious agenda, agenda for a fantastic public flagship university, and I've identified three priorities, and briefly they are um, doubling research and scholarship within the next seven to 10 years, um, uh, intentionally aligning uh, the university with the economic priorities and needs of the state and the governor, uh, and that's largely in advanced manufacturing, data science, uh, and biotech. And, and then thirdly is to build on its strong reputation for undergraduate education to um, lead to a new paradigm in liberal arts education for the 21st century. And I'd like to just take a minute to, to tell you where I think education's going and why I think UConn could lead the way. Uh, in the 20th century, liberal arts education was about identity. It was about helping students to discover who they were and their place in the world. You know, the great classics, the, the history, uh, the different views from scoundrels to, to saints, uh, and, and really understand what, what this world is about. And, and really that's changed over, you know, with the commoditization of knowledge through Google, uh, with makers um, even making uh, devices being outsourceable. Uh, the real value proposition has gone beyond that, beyond knowledge. So I would offer that for the 21st century, liberal arts education needs to do more. It needs to be about identity, first of all. We don't lose that, that role. But it also needs to be about agency, and it needs to be about purpose. So what students need to learn is, get, and discover for themselves, not only their place in the world, the knowledge that goes with that, but how that knowledge empowers them to change the world around them. That's the agency part. And then they need to be developing the motivation to use that power for the greater good. So that's the purpose part. We are starting to understand the kinds of experiences students need to have while they're undergraduates that produces that kind of education, identity, agency, and purpose. But we have not, as a higher education field, been intentional about bringing those kinds of experiences to every student at the scale of 24,000 undergraduates, which is what the scale of UConn is. And so I've offered to the faculty that if we can figure out how to do that, build on some of the things we have. We have a Human Rights Institute, an honors program that's nationally renowned, uh, a Worth Institute of, of Entrepreneurship. All of these things are giving extraordinary experiences to students that are life transformative, that are for building identity, agency, and purpose. But if we can figure out how to leverage that in an affordable way, an affordable way, scale it to 24,000, then we will not only benefit our own students, but we'll lead the nation in what liberal arts education will be in the 21st century. So that's the big vision. Uh, I think all of these three priorities can be achieved. Uh, Brian would, would not let me go home if I didn't say philanthropy will have a big role in all of them. As we start doubling research and scholarship, the key to that will be uh, endowed professorships to allow us to bring even more high-powered faculty to the university. And when I think about these programs, we, we know how much it costs to bring these kinds of deep experiences to students. And we can do it economically, but it still requires a few more pennies. And, the, the funding that comes from the state institution is not enough for that kind of an add-on. So, so philanthropy will play a big role, but with the resources, with the support, I think we can do incredible things for the state, for the nation, and, and for society at large. So with that, I'll just pause and, and say thank you all for having me again, and I look forward to your questions.